in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix problems with the Xbox app not working properly. If your Xbox app is crashing, freezing, giving you some error codes or anything like that then by following the steps in this video we will hopefully be able to resolve the issue. But before we get started we have just hit 45,000 subscribers and if you haven't done so yet please subscribe to our channel every subscribe really does help us produce more content and it would also be absolutely amazing if we could hit 50,000 subscribers before the end of this summer so yeah like i said go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this so the first thing you need to do is just completely close down the xbox app we do not need this app open at the moment. You now need to right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go ahead and click on settings and we want to click on to update and security and then click on the check for updates button and just ensure we have the latest Windows updates installed. If there is a new update available for your Windows computer, go ahead and install that update. So the next thing you want to do is click on the link in the description below to your graphics card. You now need to ensure that you have the latest graphics card driver installed. So I have put a link in the description below to Nvidia and AMD. So download the driver for your graphics card and then install it. Then restart your computer and once your computer is restarted, launch the Xbox app and see if updating Windows and installing the latest drivers for your graphics card has resolved the issue you were having. And that will normally resolve problems with the Xbox app freezing and just basically not launching and stuff like that. So once you have done that and if you're still having problems, then the next thing we want to do is close down your web browser, which you should have closed anyway because you restarted your computer. You now need to open up the start menu and we now need to type in store. We then need to open up the Microsoft store and you now need to click on the three dots in the right hand corner. You now need to click on downloads and updates and you now need to click on get updates and just ensure you have the latest update installed for your Xbox app. So as you can see, it's not detected a new update for the Xbox app on my computer, but if the Microsoft store did detect a new update for you, it will be in the list below. So let it update the Xbox app and then once it's finished updating, see if that resolved the issue. If that still didn't resolve the problem, then the next thing you need to do is open up the start menu again and we now need to type in disk and you need to open up disk cleanup. You now need to select your C drive and you then need to select all the options in the list here. Obviously, if there's anything that you don't want to remove, then deselect that. Once you're happy, go ahead and press OK and then delete files. And this will delete all the temporary files in the list. So like I said, make sure you are happy with what you selected. So once this cleanup has finished, the next thing you need to do is just close down everything that's running on your computer and then launch the Xbox app and see if that helps because there could be a program that's running in the background which is conflicting with the Xbox app causing it to crash and not run properly. If that didn't help then we now need to open up the start menu again and you now need to type in firewall. If you're using the Windows Defender firewall then this will apply to you. If you're not, then you need to do the same, but within the security program that you're using, so it will be slightly different. Go ahead and click on Windows Defender Firewall. So we need to ensure we are not blocking the Xbox app through the Windows Defender Firewall. So you now need to click on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender. You then need to go all the way to the bottom and then just make sure Xbox has ticks next to it. As you can see, mine does. So that's all good, I'm allowing it through the firewall. If yours doesn't have ticks next to it, then you need to click on change settings and you then need to tick private and public for the Xbox option. So once you've done that, and if yours was being blocked through the firewall, then go ahead and launch the Xbox app and it should now work. If it still doesn't, we now need to right click on the start menu icon and you need to click on to apps and features. You now need to type in Xbox and search this list and you then need to select Xbox and click on advanced options. You now need to make sure the Xbox app services is turned on. 
If yours was turned off, then flick it to on and then see if that resolved the issue with the Xbox app. If it didn't, then scroll down and you now need to click on repair under reset. This will not delete the app's data, but it will, however, hopefully resolve the issue that you were having. If repairing didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing you will want to do is click on reset, which will reset the Xbox app completely. So after doing those, if you're still unable to resolve the issue, then you now need to click on the link that's in the description again below to our website, and you then need to copy the PowerShell code. Once you have it, you now need to open up the start menu icon and you now need to type in PowerShell. You now need to run this as an administrator and you then need to paste in the code and you now need to press enter. Once the command has finished running, you can then go ahead and launch the Xbox app and hopefully that has resolved the issue. If it hasn't, then try uninstalling the Xbox app again, which you can get onto through apps and features, and then press uninstall, and then install the Xbox app again. So that does now bring us to the end of this video. All the steps are in the link that's in the description below on our website. So I hope it helped and you enjoyed the video. If it did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.